Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to the old stream farm where it's an exciting day. The next couple of episodes are actually going to be quite interesting. Uh, we're not actually going to be using the fin today. It's, uh, I think it's not in a thumbnail either. It's been in most thumbnails, but that's not the case today because we have this. We're using the Dutes that badly needs a wash with a Lemkin planter, we've leased this by the way, and an uh, extra tank in the front. This does have dynamic hoses. You can see them just under there. Can't really see them through the grass, but they run underneath. All along underneath the track there. And up here. And uh, these things look like uh, ninjas throwing stars. Which is quite funny because if you look in the mirrors, that's all you see. But hopefully my mic issues are a little bit better today. It's the, uh, the hope anyway. I've made some changes to some settings and things like that, so hopefully it's a little bit better today. But we're going to take this planter. We're going to be using it a fair amount today. We're going to do one of the fields ourselves, and uh, I'm not sure if we'll time lapse or hire a worker to do the other one. But you'll be wondering where all that money came from. There is currently a great demand at the spinnery for wool, and it had a good price, so I got rid of uh, six pallets of wool. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to crash, I don't know exactly what we hit, but we hit something. We're going to plant this field down here, I think it's field 20, our newest field. And uh, it's not any corn. So let's see. Sunflower, soybeans, sugar beet, that's the one. I think that there actually has enough power for this. I never checked. Kind of drifting a little bit. And that's a, a weird texture to have. Lower that at the front. Well, that's making things considerably worse. Not that one. I swear I know what I'm doing. To a point. Yeah, we're going to plant sugar beets in here. Now, this is apparently fertilizing as well. Look at that. Drifting. Maybe this isn't attractive to use then. Mm, getting quite a bit of new slippage. I never checked the power requirements or anything like that. It's got a good speed though. Let me just have a look and see what it is. Uh, 110 horsepower. This should have that, yeah, 143. Odd. How about on a hired worker? I have the same issue. Not really. But we're going to crack on with this and uh, I'll see you in just a second.
Well, that didn't take too long. Hopefully, we enjoyed that slightly different time lapse we did there. But yeah, the hired worker doesn't have any issue with it. But when I was getting the bits of the hired worker, it always misses. It uh, was still sliding about everywhere, so I'm not sure what's causing that. It'll be fine. We do have another field to plan. And I also um, had it set so the hired workers would... Rather than use the fertilizer that's in here, um, I have to pay for the fertilizer. Change that now. Given how much seed we used there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill the cedar. And the fertilizer is fine. I'm going to refill the cedar because it's a bigger field to put in there. Well, it's a little bit more. Now let's cycle through. Corn will do it just nice, actually. Right. With this field, actually, I'm going to attempt to do the head this first. I say attempt because it slides everywhere and this isn't a particularly even hill. Oh, this is interesting. Don't, don't actually know what's causing it. The tractor's got plenty of power. There should be plenty of weight in it. I don't know if it maybe just lowers it a little bit too much for this tractor or something. I'm not sure if that's seeping or not. It doesn't appear to be. No, it's not for some reason it's on. Is it? I honestly can't tell. It's doing something. I'll check that on the map actually. It fertilized it. Yeah, it did plant it, just doesn't look like it. Well, we're going to put a hired worker on this field as well. Just simply as we can. It would probably be easier. Because, uh, this is a bit annoying. But well, we'll get the headland done first and then we'll jump into the fence. Because I need to repair the weeder actually. You can see from this side, they just come the other way and see they not work. <coughs> but it did work, but it just looked like it didn't act. It's unusual, I don't know. But if you're wondering where all the money is coming from, it's coming from our solar panel. Right there. And of course our greenhouses as well, they'll be earning us a bit of money. It 
seems to just dig in too much up front. You can see it like twitching with the slightest bump. Don't know if it's just this tractor, maybe the three point linkage is just a little bit low on this thing. Just this track for this sideways and go up the hill at the same time. Okay, we're not going to do all of the headwind, that's all the headwinds we're going to do. We'll finish the rest in later. Tires work, shouldn't have any issues with this move. So we'll let them get on with that and we'll jump into this. We'll go and pick up the weir, which is uh, just over here. A brief block by an object. I'll assume that it's not anymore. Uh, there's our little weeder. Not, not so little, to be honest. I don't know that trailer's far enough away. Alright, let's get this repaired. No, the trailer's not far enough away, and I don't have workshop tab. Uh, these doors are shut. Well, no, they're open. Oh, this gate is shut. I don't know why I shut this gate. this all the way forward to about there. That should be plenty out of the way now. There we go. See, the condition's quite low on it. Yeah, £30 wage payment. They should still be working. Yeah, they are. It's uh, quite an interesting way of planting a field, but there will be some left anyway. There's always some left with hired workers. Right, we don't actually need to use this weeder today. I just wanted to repair it. I also want to do a bit of maintenance to the tractor. I don't think it's, it's it's about halfway for maintenance, but I want to repair it and wash it. But I have plans for this tractor. Um, I don't think we've actually done maintenance on any of our machines. Now. We'll give it a nice wash, make it look all nice and shiny again. It's, it's uh, the next thing that we'll be doing. Actually, uh, requires it being clean. Is that rough? No, that's rough. I thought maybe it was rough stuff in this. Uh, Front linkage there. Yeah, now what we're going to do is uh, take a quick drive up to the shop and I will see you when we get there. Well, here we are at the shop and uh, you wonder what I'm picking up. Um, I'm not actually picking up anything. 
we are in fact selling the Fent. The Fent with quite a few hours on it and uh, it's our main tractor but £43,000 so yeah we'll sell that it was just shy of £100,000 don't worry we're not gonna go without a tractor I'm gonna buy a new one and I'll see you in a second okay guys I didn't get the tractor that I wanted but I will be instead I spent I think £26,000 on a tractor with a hundred horsepower it's a bit more modern and it is this our new front loader tractor class Arian 420 quite a, a nice little tractor definitely a bit more modern inside than the Fen but don't worry about the uh, lack of horsepower because like I said there is going to be another tractor bought Hopefully tomorrow, but uh, this one will be our front loader tractor, our, our yard tractor if you will. It is a mod available on, um, I think it was Mod Hub US, off the top of my head, and uh, it's cheap. It does have a frame rate issue, it does come with it. Episode. Just having it installed has caused me a frame rate issue this episode, so I don't know if we're going to keep it long term, but I did want it for a little while. Some of you may know I am a fan of my class tractors, and uh, this one's no exception. It's quite a nice little tractor. A helper he has stopped work unexpectedly, tank is empty. Nice uh, sun up there, isn't it? It's a, it's a bit strange, but good visibility though. Good for front loader work. Now you'll notice I have already got a front loader bracket on it. So what we'll do is, I know we have seeds somewhere, I can't really remember where. And we'll change the, uh, the colour of this front loader. I want the pallet box. It is small way from the pen. I think this is seed in here. Oh yeah, premium quality seeds. No, we shouldn't need a rear weight for seat bag. That, that's doing some odd things with that seat bag. Very uh, elastic. That's. Which weird physics right there, that's what that is. Oh, we've got a front way there, didn't even realise. So I'll take this and find the plaster in the start of Find the cedar and refill it, get a higher worker going again. Ah, there's the frame rate issues. It's worse when you're near another track. I dropped the bag. I think it landed the right way up. Third time looking? No, nope. fourth. There we go. Yeah, when you get closer to another tractor, it does lag out more, so this will be replaced with uh, what I originally wanted, which was. Uh, Good steer loader. I think life easier for moving the wool pallets and such. I even get closer to this.
but it's a nice looking tractor at least. I might need to, uh, yeah. That was, yeah. Got back in a second, guys. I'm not actually sure how I uh, didn't notice that that seat bag was pretty much empty because it's empty. Just clearly wasn't paying any attention. Look at that. This one's less elastic as well. But this should now be ready to go. And it should have enough, but it won't actually. Thinking about it, we had 70% of the time to get this much. Probably not got enough to do the rest of the field. But guys, I'm going to leave it here for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what you think about the class. Like I said, I probably won't be keeping it. And as I pre-record these, you can just you can see the lag it's causing. It's just no, nothing is smooth with this thing installed. But um, I probably won't be keeping it because of that. But I think you'll like the tractor I'm planning on replacing the vent with, and uh, and this effectively. Um, but I will be getting a skid steer loader very soon. Hopefully, that's that's the intention. The next after this tractor replacement the next big purchase will be a skid steer loader so uh, hopefully that's not too long hopefully it'll be this week but thank you all very kindly for watching and i'll see you all next bye for now